Welcome everybody. Today I'm having a look at the Kiwi RCM record cleaning machine. It's made in New Zealand by Ralph Braham. Now Ralph's a director at Real Groovy Records in Auckland. It's the, uh, it's the largest second hand record shop in the country and thousands upon thousands of LPs go into that shop uh, every year, probably hundreds of thousands, I don't know. And they've all got to be cleaned and then put on put on display and put out for sale. So previously Ralph was using a, uh, a nitty gritty to do the cleaning and it's probably his experience with the nitty gritty and uh, the amount of use that it gets he felt that uh, perhaps he could he could do things a little bit cheaper and just as good so instead of spending sort of well over a thousand dollars for a record machine record cleaning machine Ralph's come up with the RCM that you see here um, and that's 499 New Zealand dollars now it doesn't have an onboard motor you have to use an external vacuum. Uh, he, he does sort of specify uh, that you can use any sort of vacuum cleaner. Um, in fact, I'm using this little, this little devil here, a uh, little, little cheapy from Bunnings. Uh, but um, you just have to be sure that when you use a standard vacuum cleaner that the water that will flow into this see-through tank here doesn't actually sort of start pouring into the exhaust vent. Uh, where the vacuum suction goes, so uh, so that'll take probably you know maybe 30, 40 LPs before you start sort of getting close to that that port. So you just have to watch it. But basically, it can be used with any vacuum cleaner. So just having a look at the construction, um, it's an all acrylic affair. It looks like something that Apple might actually design. It probably gives you a hint as to uh, Ralph's um, former career, um, and. Um, I'll just close up on the wand here. Um, the machine actually sucks through this port here, or the vacuum cleaner sucks through that port, which in turn depresses the wand onto the wet vinyl. Uh, and um, once the once you see the bubbles of the uh, of the cleaner actually disappear, uh, or the cleaning fluid, that's when the, you then put on some distilled water, and then repeat the process. So. So we'll try that in a minute. I'll just swing this back. In fact, I'll, I'll take the wand out and show you the slot. So the actual suction, well, the water sucked up through this little gap here, and you've got uh, velvet um, uh, silver teeth of either side to protect your LP. So essentially what it does is it actually sucks the crap out of the grooves. Uh, there's no real abrasion going on there. Um, once the cleaning fluid hits those grooves, it softens up any any muck that, that that's actually contained in the grooves, and then uh, and then the suction actually draws it out, as well as the uh, the cleaning solution. Then of course you you then apply some distilled water and uh, repeat the process so it's got a second hit at it. Uh, so I'll put that back in here. So it's it's spring loaded, uh, Ralph's sort of experimented with different different types of springs and this one's specifically designed to um, you know to lower the wand onto the record with uh, with, with the greatest of care. Um, just down here there's an adjustable vent. Now you can open that or close it depending on the amount of suction you require. And there we go, I've just opened it to a quarter. Um, it's very useful actually because you can just sort of modify, you know, just how much suction you want to uh, to go onto your record. Um, if I lift off this this grippy little little mat, you'll see that it's a it's a very very nice piece of acrylic. It looks a little bit like a Riga platter actually. Um, I must stress that this is you know four hundred ninety nine dollars for this machine, which is a pretty pretty decent price. Um, of course, that's at face value, but once you see it working, it's um, it, it, you soon start to realise just uh, you know just what a, a bargain it is. Um, it operates using using an AC switch mode power supply. Um, so really, I guess if you wanted to go on holiday, if you wanted to go to I don't know Fiji or something like that, or, or even Japan, and you for some stupid reason wanted to take some vinyl with you to clean, well, you can do that. Or if you manage to get some sort of nifty job in, in the US, you can you can take it with you and just 
by the appropriate power supply when you're there. So, so that's a, a quick look at the machine. There's the um, the AC adapter um, um, plug there, or the power plug. Um, that's where that plug goes. And there's the on-off switch. Um, so you're probably used to cleaning your records either in the sink or using a manual device such as the Nosti here. Um, and the Nosti is fine. Um, you know, it does a pretty decent job. But it does leave the surface of the record very wet. Um, and, you know, there's no suction on it. There's just sort of uh, brushes either side of the LP and you've got to spin that manually. Um, what I've found is that um, it can get some record, um, some, some cleaner on the label, which isn't quite so hot. Um, not such a great idea. Um, but it, it does a pretty decent job. But what I found with um, with the RCM, the Kiwi RCM, was records that I'd cleaned previously using the Nosti still had a few little crackles in them, and putting them back on the RCM, uh, the automatic one here, um, actually, yeah, it was a better result. I actually lost probably 95% of any of the crackles that were left, so um, it's, it's a more effective cleaner. And as far as um, your cleaning solution is concerned, well, it's a, um, a, a mixture of isopropyl alcohol or IPA and distilled water. Um, and distilled water because it doesn't have any contaminants in it. And then, of course, you mop up using distilled water. And there's some of the real groovy product here that you see. Um, as far as applying the cleaner and the distilled water, you need to prepare yourself uh, two little containers one with uh, the cleaning solution, which is this one here, and then one with uh, distilled water, and you're away. So we'll just um, put the record on here and get it cracking. I'll put on my, uh, my lovely King Crimson album. Now there's no clamp on the, um, on the record. It doesn't really need it. Um, that actual Matt is incredibly grippy, and there's nothing, nothing going to uh, to move once it's spinning. So, um, so let's just get it spinning. I'll just turn it on here. Makes a little bit of a noise, but um, it's not too bad. But it's only when the um, um, the vacuum cleaner goes that uh, you know that you really hear a noise. So, I just move the wand over here. Apply a little bit of the cleaning solution. And now on with the vacuum cleaner. And I'm using a foot mounted uh, pedal here, so here we go. So once those suds pretty much disappear, now it's time to put on the distilled water. And you just repeat the process.
So there we have it. The Kiwi RCM 499 does a fantastic job. Um, I'm very, very, uh, very impressed with it. You have to supply your own vacuum, but uh, based on what you can buy things like VPIs for uh, here in New Zealand, uh, you're looking at about a um, thousand dollars saving um, on the price of a VPI. Got to use your own vacuum, of course, but that's no problem, is it? We've all got them. Um, if we're not, we're dirty buggers, and you know we should have them. So there we go. Kiwi RCM available online now.